13 on your sidelines protector of the week sponsored by rent insurance group. We're still going strong here on 13 on your sideline. So is the Spring Lake and Hart Cheer teams with us. And it's time to honor one of the best offensive lines in West Michigan, which we do on every single episode of 13 on your sidelines. Our latest protectors of the week is the offensive line from Hamilton High School. They were a huge reason the Hawkeyes beat Union 49 zip last week. Hamilton put up 425 yards against the Red Hawks. That includes 309 rushing yards on 32 carries behind this O-line. The Hawkeyes have been racking up 45 points a game so far this season, and the starters on this offensive line include Ben Nykamp, Breslin Nykamp, Tyler Michelson, Dakota Brooker, Dominic Vanderhurst, and Logan Eating, and AJ Fredrickson. Hamilton hosted Wayland tonight in an OK white battle between two and one teams, and the Hawkeyes get another shutout win, 35 to nothing. And we wouldn't usually find ourselves talking about a winless Muskegon team this late in the season. The Big Reds dropped their first two games to Zeeland West and Rockford and then had the week off last week. But then again, they started the season 0-2 last year, and you know what they did? They won the state championship. Tonight, Muskegon hosted 2-1 Forest Hills Northern out at Hackley Stadium. We go late first quarter. FH Northern from the two, Colton Sawyer finds his way into the end zone. Muskegon, they once again trailed again. It was 7-0, but the Big Reds say not so fast. On the 36, James Young throws a dime to Arquez Petty for the touchdown. Just like that, we were tied at 7. And that would be the score in the second quarter. Now the Big Reds from the 17. Kashawn Drummer finds the hole, and he's in for the score. Just like that, Muskegon was on top 14-7. And that would stay the same score as we approach halftime. Handoff here to Els Kashawn Drummer, who takes it in for the touchdown. Three unanswered scores from Muskegon up 21 to 7, and they weren't done before the half. Young here to Arquez Petty again. Spin move in for the touchdown. Big Reds finally get on the board here in 2024. Muskegon gets the win tonight, 47 to 28. And here on 13 on your sidelines, we don't play favorites even when one of us is covering our alma mater. Grand Haven graduate Maddie Monroe was on the lakeshore tonight as her Bucks hosted Caledonia. Yeah, Jacob, and in all fairness, Grand Haven has had a tough time with the Scots. Caledonia the, joined the OK Red in 2016, and they've beaten Grand Haven in all of one of their meetings. But with tonight being Buck Pride Night, there was no better time to try and buck that trend. First quarter, Andrew Williamson goes for it making their wide run all the way to the end zone. Bucks are up early in the first quarter, but the Scots are ready to strike back. Betsy Broder goes for the touchdown and the Bucks can't stop it. After a stumble and a flip, he lands in the end zone. Scots catching up now, score is tied eight to eight, but the Bucks get it back on their end of the field. A throw from Luke Berry and Will Kormstra with the incredible catch. Grand Haven takes the lead again, 14 to eight. But that lead doesn't stick. Brody Betzer with a throw to Aaron Collins. Xavier Rodriguez tries to take him down, but he's too late. Scott's score 15 to 14, and they keep the streak going. Another great throw from Brody Betzer, and Luke Lincoln Senti with the jump and grab, and he lands the touchdown. Caledonia wins, final score 36 to 28. All right, thanks, Maddie. And last year, Hart and Kent City faced off in the playoffs. It was our 13 sidelines game of the week, and they must have enjoyed going head to head because they scheduled each other in non-conference action again this season. The Eagles hosted this one. They were looking for their first ever win against the Pirates. Check out that sunset. It was a close six nothing game to begin the third quarter that it very quickly became not so close. Eagles into the red zone off a 25 yard run here for Cooper Houtman, and it was Houtman who would finish off the drive. Drive, plunges his way into the end zone for the touchdown and just like that we had a two score game the Eagles they would get the ball back and this thing about offense is you think one guy has the ball but it's really someone else they fake out the cameraman Logan Thomas scores the second Kent City touchdown of the second half it was 21 nothing and then it happens again but it doesn't matter if the camera catches it or not as long as he gets in the end zone it counts Cooper Stinson 32 yard score practically untouched a big time second half for Kent City who takes this one over Hart 32-6. Hart cheerleaders, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Just cover your ears. We're going to move on because it's one of the biggest rivalries we have 
the privilege to cover here on 13 on your sidelines. After the break, see what he would take home a win for the battle for the bell between Whitehall and Montague. And two Ionia County foes faced off tonight in conference play. Find out if undefeated Portland could get a road win out at Lakewood.